Starting off with the upper wind deflectors, the first thing you'll need to do is remove these two bolts. Now, when you remove these, try not to lose any of the little plastic or rubber washers that sit behind them. It's worth noting when you fit the upper wind deflectors, fit one side and then fit the other. That way the screen will stay in place for you. There's one and those little washers that sit behind it. And there's the other. In the packet, there should be four bolts that are slightly longer than the standard ones. So you'll need to transfer the washers from the old bolts onto the new ones. Next, grab a wind deflector and hold it up to the screen, lining up those bolt holes. If the bottom of the wind deflector and the screen line up, you have the correct wind deflector for that side of the bike. Grab two of those bolts and bolt the wind deflector and the screen back on. Now I'm just gonna nip these bolts up just a little bit so they can't move around and everything's nice and secure. Once you've done one side, do the other. Try not to do both at the same time, otherwise you'll have to hold the screen in place as well as the wind deflector whilst putting them bolts back in. Moving on to the lower ones, the first thing you'll need to do is remove this bolt here. Next, grab one of those lower wind deflectors. Now I'm struggling to come up with a way to describe which wind deflector goes on which side of the bike. So I'll keep it easy, this one goes on the right hand side of the bike. Before you go any further, make sure this part of the trim is clean and dry, as you will be sticking the wind deflector to that part of the trim. The next bit can be a little bit fiddly, First, remove all of the backing off the tape on the back of the deflector. You then need to get this clip around the edge of this piece of trim behind this fairing. So if you gently pull the fairing away from the bike, slot that clip like so behind the fairing and wiggle it around until it drops behind that fairing. Now you'll know if you've got it in the right spot is when you come to pull it out, it won't want to come out. From here, you need to line up this top edge with the top of this piece of trim. And then firmly push that trim and deflector together so it sticks on and bonds really well. Hold it there for a couple of seconds. Finally, reinstall the bolt at the front of the fairing. Nip it up, repeat on the other side, and you are done. 